Hi guys, and welcome to part four of the C uh, of the PHP Dynamic uh, Grocery List program that we're going to do that you can put on your website. Now, something I thought of after I did this, we're going to be putting uh, you know forms where you can add items and stuff like that, and this header and this footer are going to have to carry through those forms. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something to make it really easy to, once we ch have to change it one time, we don't have to change it for every page that we make. So we're going to use include files in order to do that. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and open, uh, let's see, close that, close that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open my index.php. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this header portion which is separated by a div ID header. I'm going to take this completely out of here. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to control X or well, I'll just cut however you do that on your computer. And I'm just going to make a document and I'm going to paste it in there and I'm going to save this as header PHP in that in that folder directory right there. So while I've done that, let's go back to the index. I'm going to file, save, and you're going to watch that disappear. All that header stuff should be gone now. And it is. There's nothing above the word hello. So now let's put it back in there in such a way that once we change that document, it changes all across our site universally. So what we're going to need is a PHP tag. So we're going to go question mark PHP and then we're going to drop down two lines and then we're going to go to a question mark and a uh, whatever that is greater than uh, let's see and now we're going to type include and then uh, quotations uh, what was that header dot php and quote end quotation and then we're going to do a semicolon right there. And that should do it. So let's go save here. And let's see if that includes that file that we moved and made to a header file. There you go. Now all we have to do is change this header file anywhere in the document. And it'll change on all of our forms and anything that we're using on this. So any change that we make above this hello line uh, will carry throughout the site. So we'll go ahead and we'll run back and we'll do that same exact thing to the footer. Find the div for the footer and we'll start right here and we'll end right here and we'll cut that, create a new document, paste it, and we'll save that as footer.php and that's saved. Now we go back to our index and make sure that we've got that completely out of there. Now we'll go back to our browser, click, and we see that we have absolutely no footer. So now let's go back over to our uh, Notepad++, do our PHP, Oops. and then include our footer include quotations semicolon just get that out of the way PHP and that should do it file save so let's go back to our browser and now we have our header and our footer so whenever we modify our footer or our header, it's going to modify through any document that we use index.php as a template for. So we'll consider this a template now, and that's how we'll handle it. Now if we wanted to, we could move all of this uh, CSS into its own file as well. But uh, we're just not going to mess with that right now. We're just going to go ahead and do this. But I definitely wanted to... Uh, to retain that ability to change everything globally. So, all right, in the next video, we should start getting into, uh, we'll, we'll make the connection script in the next video, and we'll be getting right into code here shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, the playlist for this video series is over on the right.
Thanks.